Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and I wanted to give you a quick tip of the day. I want to talk about trade-ins. 83% of transactions at an automobile dealership have a trade-in. And usually a trade-in is not really looked at or concerned with until the very end of the process and the very end of your, if you want to call it, your road to the sale. And that's a mistake. I believe that because it's so important, it should be in the front part of the cell. You should be contrarian and do the opposite. Here's the reason why you want to shove the trade in towards the top. First of all, if I were to segue from my meet and greet to the trade in, I would do it by just taking out a 3x5 card and taking a pen and just saying, Mr. Customer, what I'd like to do just for a moment is walk over to your present car for two reasons. I want to jot down all the information, get the description, the serial number, etc. So later on, when we get the market value of your vehicle, it will save you a bunch of time. Key word you want to insert in somebody's brain indelibly, save time. Mr. Customer, also number two, well, I'd like to walk over to your present vehicle. I'd like to, as I'm asking you some questions, getting descriptions, generally as I do that, I find out what you like, what you don't like, and that almost always gives me some ideas that will help save you some money. So second thing, save money. Save time, save money. Save time, save money. You want to use these keyword positioning phrases over and over and over, but it gives you a reason to go to the trade-in. Now, why do you want to go to the trade-in? Number one, it is a comfort zone, home, work, car. That's where people spend 90% of their life, home, work, and car. They're comfortable at their car. They'll communicate to you about themselves, which is a great thing. You will experience role reversal. They will begin to sell you instead of you selling them. There are a million clues at that car, in, on, and around it that will tell you what type of person? You will now begin to get these things. Number one, you will ask questions like, what's the most important thing to you when you buy a vehicle? Number two, when you bought this car, what was the number one thing that made you want to own this? So when you get that information, you're getting what I call keyword answers. Most customers have one, two, maybe three keywords. That's it. There are one, two, three things that will provide you leverage in the cell to get the customer to take action. And unless you're honing in on those key words, you're practicing a spray and pray method of selling. We want to do a laser approach right to what a customer uh, will influence them to take action with that leverage to buy and do something either now or very soon. So I utilize that trade-in to get keywords, to ask the right questions, to do role reversal, to find out what somebody's patterns are. Most people in life are what I call matchers, not mismatchers. Meaning that when they absorb information, if it matches up to patterns in the past, then they tend to take action and feel comfortable. If you mismatch and violate a pattern, then people feel uncomfortable. I always want to find out what is somebody's pattern. How do they do business? How have they done it in the past? How do they make decisions? If I can repeat somebody's pattern and give them three things, three little letters, HFG, hope for gain. If I can repeat your pattern and give you hope for gain with this new decision and purchase versus your current one, you'll also have leverage for the customer to take action. You will also define whether the customer is a wants or a needs buyer. Probably 80% of vehicles sold in the United States would be to people that are wants buyers. That's a great thing. People will jump over mountains for what they want. They won't walk across the street necessarily for what they need. So if I can find out what somebody wants, they are moving towards pleasure. Or if they're a needs buyer, they're moving away from pain. A pain buyer is somebody who currently, if they're trade-in, probably is experiencing a problem, breakdowns, it, it is so dysfunctional for their current needs that they have to buy a car. A wants buyer wants to buy a car and is moving towards pleasure. There are two different types of buyers, but you will define that and know very quickly at that trade-in by asking questions, walking around, getting a description. 
you're also going to find out how to laser in on what they really want and need for the new vehicle selection. Think about it. If somebody walks into a dealership and says, I want to look at blank vehicle I've been searching on the internet, and you walk over to that vehicle with them and start showing them, demonstrating, presenting to them, what do you really know? Do you know if they're a wants or needs buyer? Do you know, do they communicate and make decisions visually, auditorily, kinesthetically? Do you know what their patterns are? Do you know what their hope for gain is? Do you know anything about them and what would provide leverage for them to take action? The answer is no. And when you do that, that's why if you are doing that, you most likely have low percentage of close, low commissions, low profits, because it's a frustrating sale. If I can gather more information in a way that's more comfortable and pleasing with the customer, I'm going to find that maybe it will create a longer relationship in the beginning, but it will shorten your sales cycle overall and make the very end of the process go very quickly, easily, and eliminate back and forth that most people experience in dealerships. Customers refuse to do the old-fashioned back and forth. This is one way that you set yourself up to have a more pleasing presentation of your proposal because you're much better prepared. So I call this a trade evaluation. It's not really an appraisal unless you wish it to be, but it's a trade evaluation and you're giving the customer two reasons why you're walking over there. Save time, save money, save time, save money. These are just some quick tips on how in your process, you can change and utilize your trade-in maybe better than you ever have before. I'm Mark Tour. If you want more information on me, go to tour.com, T-E-W-A-R-T.com, or you can call us at 888-2-TOURT, 888-283-9278. Thanks a lot, and have a great day of selling.